Hey everybody, it's Makara, and I'm here to share about the OT activity of the week um, that we're calling Core and Conversations. Um, and so I know that this may look a little differently if you're doing it at home, but um, we definitely want to give you the tools and the information on um, core, your core exercises, and why it's important to do that. So that's kind of what we're working on this week. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start with what is your core? Uh, so we've probably all kind of heard people say um, your core, and you can maybe think of like your abdominal muscles, um, but your core actually involves your abdominal muscles on top of some on the side and around your back and then also including your pelvic floor. And so there's actually 35 different muscles that um, help to make up your core. So it's a really good group of muscles um, that's really important for a lot of different activities or occupations. So um, we wanted to kind of hit this because A, um, in our survey that we did, a lot of people um, had said that they're really interested in learning more about these core exercises. And also, it just affects so much of what we do, and there's a lot of ways that you can incorporate this throughout your day. So really excited to get to um, do this this week. So a couple of reasons, too, why it's important um, to be doing core exercises is it definitely helps with balance and stability. Um, you don't necessarily need specialized equipment or a gym membership, and um, it definitely can tone and strengthen all of those muscles to be able to help you do all the things that you need and want to do. So we're kind of looking at that today. And so what your core kind of activation looks like, and so we'll kind of practice it here, and then we'll show you a kind of a game that we played to also practice it. Um, but basically, we're tightening our core muscles um, and kind of thinking of it as taking your belly button to your back. And it's more than just sucking in your gut. It's definitely involved with making sure that you can breathe while you're doing it and feeling those tight muscles tighten. And so you might be able to feel yourself um, like on your stomach and see if it feels like you're tightening. And um, we also want you to be breathing throughout all of this. And so um, you definitely should be able to keep your breath going and also be uh, possibly talking or working up to that. Um, so anyways, that's kind of what we're doing. And also you wanna make sure that your posture is good. So sitting back straight up, um, you know, keeping your neck in line, um, shoulders back, um, a nice posture in your chair. And so basically, the first thing that we did is just tightening your core and holding that for about 10 seconds. And so right now I'm actually doing that. And so um, I'm trying to definitely breathe through it. I'm talking a little bit and then I'm going to release that. And so you can do that. That's an isometric movement because, or um, isometric contraction because you're not moving anything else while you're doing that. You're just tightening the muscle and then relaxing. And so that's definitely something you can do um, throughout your day, you know, sitting um, on a chair whenever um, you're watching TV or at the kitchen table. Um, and then also just thinking about two shifting side to side and holding your core in. You can do that. You can reach and then come back, you can reach forward, um, or even go up top and grab something and bring it down. Um, and all of that while you're engaging your core. So those are just a few ideas that you can do. There's obviously many more that you can do. Um, and the other thing we wanted to mention with this is to make sure that you're staying safe, um, because we definitely don't want any kind of balance getting off and just do what you can. Um, and you know, if some of those are kind of hard for you, just stick with trying to contract those muscles and rela relaxing. And so um, anything that you can do as far as just contracting those muscles is gonna be um, really beneficial. So now we're gonna kind of show you an activity of a way that you might be able to play a game with like your family um, or by yourself um, to kind of practice this. Thanks. All right, so this is kind of a preview of what we did um, today at the MSAC. So we're practicing holding in our core, engaging that while we're moving around and trying to hit the balloon around. So Anna's got a fly swatter. I'm gonna use my hands and kind of just move back and forth while I'm holding in my core. So we'll go ahead and practice a few times. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I really had to engage my core to reach. So, yes. <laughs> so that's kind of what we did today. And this is just kind of an example of a game that you can play. Um, there's so many different ways that you can engage your core. Um, so get creative. Let us know how you got creative in engaging your core this week. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching.